Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important chapter in the Bible as we read from the King James Version Bible, Romans chapter 13. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Lead us and guide us. Thank you for the Holy Spirit you have given to us. This prayer we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Responsibilities towards higher powers. As we read in Romans chapter 13, it says, as we read the chapter, Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Do you want to be unafraid of the authority? Do what is good, and you will have praise from the same for he is god's minister to you for good but if you do evil be afraid for he does not bear the sword in vain for he is god's minister and avenger to execute wrath on him who practices evil therefore you must be subject not only because of wrath, but also for conscience sake. For because of this, you also pay taxes, for they are God's ministers, attending continually to this very thing. Render therefore to all they are due, taxes to whom taxes are due, customs to whom customs, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Responsibilities towards neighbors. Owe no one anything except to love one another. For he who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not covet. And if there is any other commandment, are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does not harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. And do this knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the work of darkness, and let us put up the armor of light. Verse 13. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in rivalry and drunkenness, not in liciousness and lividness, not in strife, and envy. Verse 14. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lusts. Amen. Yes, beloved, as we read the chapter, Romans chapter 13, a beautiful verse indeed as we read, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Yes, beloved, let us walk properly as in the day, not in revelry and drunkenness, not in liciousness and lividness, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lusts. Yes, as we have seen the responsibilities towards higher powers and responsibilities towards neighbors, Yes, beloved, our body is a temple of living God and our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. 
as we read in 2 Corinthians. So let us submit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. Let us surrender ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ and he will take care of us. He will lead us, guide us and help us. As we read in Psalm 32 verse 8. Yes, for he is a mighty God. He is the omnipotent God who reigns. As we read in Revelation chapter 19. Yes, there is nothing impossible for him. Matthew 19 verse 26. Yes, he is the King of kings, Lord of lords. And also, he is a mighty God, beloved. Yes, and also as we see that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Yes, let us be filled with the power of Holy Spirit. As we commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ, he will carry us, for he has all power and authority. Yes, as we read in Matthew chapter 28. Yes, and also the word says, evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Yeshua Messiah. So, whatever is a requirement, yes, we will get it as we submit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, he is the King of kings and Lord of lords, beloved. Yes, so let us be blessed with the word we read just now, as we read in Romans chapter 13. Yes, and also the word says, Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good, as we read in Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Everything, instructions and guidance, we get it in the Bible. We have to just read it, we have to pray, and we have to only believe Mark 5, verse 36. Yes, whatever is your request, my dear brother, my dear sister, for the day, today's day, or every day, Go and put up your request in the front of Lord Jesus Christ, for he is our Emmanuel, God with us. He is our Ebenezer, he is our Yahweh, Ire. God will provide. Genesis 22 verse 14. Yes, he is our, also our mighty God, our loving Father, and also he comforts us as a loving mother. As we read in Isaiah 66 verse 13 and Isaiah 64 verse 63. Yes, we are the clay and he is a potter. Yes, and he will wipe away our every tear. As we read in Revelation chapter 7 verse 10 and 17. Yes, yes, he is a mighty God, beloved. He has all power and authority. Yes, he will guide us even unto death. As we read in Psalm 48 verse 14. So let us praise him, thank him and let us walk in his way. Yes, he will take care of us and he will carry us even in our gray hair and old age. The words are true as we read in Psalm 40, yes, 6 and also verse 10 it says, yes, as we read, be still and know that I am God. Yes, and Isaiah 46, 10 and Isaiah 46, 4 says, as we read the mighty word, he will carry us even in our gray hair and old age. Yes, my dear sister, my dear brother, yes, be encouraged and be strong, be bold, be courageous, for this is what God wants of you and me. As we read in the mighty word, Second Chronicles, chapter 19, yes, the word is true. It is speaking to you and to me. Yes, and also remember, the word says in Psalm 121, as it says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is a keeper. The Lord is a shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. Yes, everything God will provide us. He will take care of us and he will lead us, guide us and help us and be with us. So let us be encouraged and let us walk in the light. Yes, Jesus Christ is the light of the world. John 8, 12. Jesus Christ will bless each one of us and provide all our needs and requirements. And there will be showers of blessing in the house. Yes each one of our house. As we read in Ezekiel 34 
verse 26. So be blessed today and every day. Do like and subscribe to the channel. Arise and shine, Alfred Rathod and family. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel. God bless you as we read in Numbers chapter 6 verse 24. For all your requests, prayer requests, we have given the link in the description. Do send us the email also for all the thanksgiving and the tithes and the also for all your donations. You can send it on the link which is given in the description. God bless you. Yes, God bless you. Numbers chapter 6 verse 24. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.